my dear students as we are talking about reference checks there must be a reference check policy of the company so let's talk about the reference check policy a failure to conduct an adequate background checks or reference checks can be very expensive and embarrassing movement for the company so uh, we need to be considered it in a very serious way so the fact must be known before a decision to hire is made because sometimes the person is very better for the company but the person is not have a better background so background checks can be made before uh, making and hiring decision or particularly providing a offer uh, to the candidate so background uh, checks policy uh, indicates that organization that intend to conduct their own background checks should have a written policy the policy must need to be written nothing should be verbal and along with the accompanying procedures for hr or other to follow so the policy is not in isolation it must be integrated with other hr procedures and processes so what first of all you need to explain the purpose of the policy the policy should begin by stating the overall purpose N none of the documents need to be written without any particular purpose so policy document must have a purpose at at the start so you can know that what you are going to do for example uh, here's an example for us avidon industries is committed to hiring individuals whose skills and backgrounds are compatible with the position for which they are applying so this is a way uh, you are writing the purpose of the reference check policy in addition um, they are saying in addition we are obliged to provide a safe environment uh, in which our employees uh, work so this is also the part of a policy that you are mentioning the safe work environment to the candidates or to the to the employees uh, then accordingly background checks will enable uh, you are telling the purpose that why you are going for the background checks so accordingly background checks will enable avidon industry to obtain and confirm job related information so you can get information which are related to the job and you can confirm those information uh, for the suitability of the candidate uh, that will in turn help us determine an applicant's overall employability ensure the protection of evidence implies and its property and information so this is a complete purpose statement which you must need to be mentioned before the reference check policy in the start of the reference check policy uh, then what are the content after the purpose you need to define the content the policy should next identif identify what background checks could cover what are the what are the contents of the background checks so you must be aware of that what are the things which must be covered through the background checks like list those areas likely to be investigated for example what are the areas which must be investigated such as prior employment history where the per person was working in the past or what are the education experiences whether it is true or fake and if desired some personal references must need to be mentioned there be sure to stipulate that you are only collecting information that pertains to the quality and quantity of the work performed so you are restricted to get an information which are quite much related to the job which must need to be a job specific and those information pertains only to the quality and quantity of the work performed so none of the personal information need to be ob obtained through reference check policy if you are planning on going beyond the basics and will be using a third party agency to gather information about an individuals criminal records credit and character finances then obviously character and finances then you need to go uh, for the other checks so one is the basic reference checks and second one is the advanced re reference checks for example if you want to check the criminal history of the person you want to know about the person finances and the character uh, you be certain to reference the required steps for for the compliance with the law as described earlier so if you are getting basic information that's quite okay but if you are going beyond the basic information and you are going to check the person criminal record and the character and the finances then you must need to keep the laws in mind because laws are, are restricting you to get some of the person information about the candidate once the policy is there the purpose of the policy is there and the contents of the policy is there now you need to go for the dissemination of the policy organizational policies concerning background checks should be clearly communicated to all of the applicants 
uh, everyone should know that what is a reference check policy and the most obvious location for information is the employment application form uh, where you need to put, put it. Generally, there are separate statements for the permission to, call, to contact an applicant's current employer and to acquire educational records. So there are two options. One, that you can put it at the end of the application form. And second, that you make a separate statement, a separate form through which you can uh, get the uh, references of the person. So it must need to be accompanied with the complete application form. Finally, it is worth noting that some businesses also place this kind of notice in the employee handbook, uh, reasoning that some promotions of employees could warrant a background check. So it can be a part of an employee handbook if someone is going to be promoted to the next position. Uh, record keeping is very much important of such kind of a reference checks. Uh, your policy should clearly stipulate that information acquired as a result of any background check will only be used as a part of a selection process and will be strictly uh, will be kept strictly confidential. So this disclaimer must need to be given at the end that your record would be uh, would be kept uh, safe and confidential, so the people can uh, can trust you and provide you uh, such kind of a secret or a confidential information about their past employment history and education record and the criminal record. So must need uh, must mention the best record keeping at the end of the reference check policy.